currently 12.07 and we are heading to Walgreens. What a beautiful day. Look at how beautiful it is compared to last week when it was snowing. But uh, just gotta pick up a couple things. Pick up water bottle, pick up some stuff. All right guys, so I am back and I'm gonna show you guys real quickly what I got. Gallon of water, 128 ounces. Now, people ask me all the time, oh, why are you carrying a water jug? Why are you carrying a water jug? Guys, I stay on track of my water intake. So, there's that. And then I picked up a razor. Honestly, looking at my last video, I was like, there's no way that I should be looking like that. I also picked up two Powerade Zeros. Zero calories, which I love, and they taste amazing. So when you're dieting and you get like those sugary cravings, let's say for like a, uh, a sports drink or a soda, just grab one of these guys or the zero calorie monsters that you guys see me drinking all the time. We're gonna head now to the gym. We got a cardio session that I need to make up during the week and gonna be doing some extra ab exercises. So I'll bring you guys along and I'll see you guys there. Hey man, we're gonna start off with abs for our workout. Um, very simple exercises guys, you can do this either here at the gym, you can do them at home, you can do them in your office, super simple, super easy, but the most important thing is to do them effectively. There's no point in working out abs and not doing them effectively and targeting your abs. So I'm going to show you these exercises that I do. I do them three times a week and it's a quick circuit guys. The most important thing to do, concentrate on the abs. So. Put you guys down real quick. First exercise is sit-ups or crunches. Now you see a lot of people put their hands behind their back, uh, their hands behind their head, and come all the way up, all the way up, all the way up. And honestly, it's just so much movement, but not really focusing on the abs. You're bringing your back up, you're slamming your back on the ground, and you're not focusing on developing the abs. So what I do, guys, I put my my hands on a pronated on the on the mat facing down and I just bring up my abs so I fully contract them and squeeze them and then release so I'm just moving my abs focusing on my abs and rounding my back so doing the opposite so you squeeze your abs you round your back then you release your abs and go back to a neutral position so we do that for 20 reps here we go Close till I get up Time is barely on our side I don't wanna waste what's left The storms we chase are leading us And love is all we'll ever trust Yeah, No, I don't wanna waste what's left Ab crunch, we're gonna get right into reverse crunch So this is that same position But we're just bringing, now we're just laying on our back and bringing our knees up to our chest. Now most important thing is to keep your head up and really focus on squeezing your abs, bringing your knees as far as you can and, and contracting the abs. So here we go, same thing, 20 reps. Is the bicycle now I know a lot of people know what this exercise is however a lot of people just try to aim for their for their knee I guess with their with their elbow but they're not really focusing on rotating your abs squeezing your abs and moving with your abs you know a lot of people just move their elbows but they're not really focusing on their abs so that's what we're gonna do Gonna bring our elbows to our knee. We're gonna do 15 on each side. Now, a lot of people also like to sit up. They want to bring their body up to their knee, and we don't want to do that, guys. Our elbow is just to, for reference to point at the knee, but we really want to squeeze with our obliques. 
crunch the obliques on each side, 15 reps each. So here we go. Last exercise here on the mat, we're gonna finish with one minute plank. Now, very important is to keep your body very square, very neutral. You don't wanna be, uh, you don't want to be pointing your butt up to the ceiling, but also you don't wanna be sagging. You wanna be nice and straight, really contract the abs, and breathe, breathe. Do not look down, I like to look just straight ahead. Try to focus on something else, I know it burns but you are building not so much the size of the abs, but your core strength and your stamina and your endurance, which is very important because, I mean, abs do so much stability work uh, for your body throughout the day. Your abs is what holds everything together, and it's so important for you to have a strong core so that you're able to be stronger in other areas. So we're gonna do one minute here, and let's go. The storms we chase are leading us And love is all we'll ever trust Yeah, no, I don't wanna waste what's left And I will go Through the wastelands, through the highways Till my shadow turns to sun rays And I Today is Sunday, February 21st. It is 11.57 in the morning. Now, usually I don't get up this late, but since it's Sunday and I had to work last night till 3 a.m., go to bed at 4 a.m., I can't even talk. Go to bed at 4 a.m. We weighed in yesterday at 176.2, and this morning weighed in at 176.6. So it could have been and I'm making excuses, but you know, things fluctuate. I had a lot, my last meal very late. You know, the hours that I slept, all that are variables that can change your weight in the morning. So, razor, I'm gonna try it out, give it a review. Like I said, I wanna be clean shaven 24 seven. So this wasn't the most expensive one, but it wasn't the least expensive one. It was like right in the middle. That's usually how I shop. So we're gonna give it a try, see how it goes and Abs looking more visible. <sighs> All right, let me see if I can get it back. You guys. All right guys, so we are here in the kitchen. Gonna make meal one. Figured I'd share with y'all and what I am doing for breakfast. So we got here two whole eggs and then we are gonna do one cup of egg whites. Here's my cup. And got my skillet warming up. I'm gonna throw on some olive oil spray that I got right here, as you see. So. Gonna spray some on, just a light coat, and I just cracked the eggs right in there. So I'll show you guys my skillet. There it is, all warmed up. 
and uh, see if I can show you guys real quick how I cook these up. All right, take my egg. Boom! I just throw it right in there. Right, heat on medium, and then there's number two. I'm so tall, guys. I have to like hover over, and then mix up the egg whites. It's a brand new carton right here. I love these guys, um, because you know you don't have to separate the eggs. I used to do that, and then uh, my grocery store, real uh, nearby, um, started selling these. So I'm super stoked about that. Saves so much time. So put a whole cup in there. Now the consistency is a little different. You can definitely tell when you are cooking egg whites from like an actual egg and you separate it compared to when it's just egg whites. But the two whole eggs help and that's gonna be breakfast guys. So just protein, a little bit of fat, and no carbs. Um, my coach has me on no carbs on the non-training days, which I use as the weekends um, because it's the days that I work and I'm not so much focused on training, I'm more focused on my nutrition and that's one thing I want to talk to you guys. Uh, nutrition is so key and depending on your goal, that's what nutrition should you know revolve around. There's people on low carb diets all year but are they competing? Uh, is it really worth being so lean year round? Are you making strides to make a better physique, improve on your physique? So. It's all things to think about and there's a lot of things out in the magazines and on TV ads and supplement ads so something just to be you know thinking about and uh, I'm gonna finish up these eggs before <laughs> they burn on me as you see I'm gonna just mix them around real quick alright so what do I add to my eggs guys a little bit of salt and a little bit of Mrs. Dash this is the table blend um, it's great because salt free so but I added a little bit of salt anyway, maybe later in my diet. I know uh, salt is not going to be something that I can uh, maybe put on food. So enjoy it now while I can. And then doing some, sorry about that, Frank's Red Hot Wing Sauce. Throw that on there, just like that. And that's going to be breakfast. So there it is, guys. Gonna enjoy it. Just checking in with y'all. It is 4.37. Went and got a quick trim. And had my two scoops of cookies and cream protein shake with a tablespoon of peanut butter and just catching up on some Daytona 500 I'm a big race fan so I'm gonna finish up the race here and the rest of the day guys honestly I'm just gonna finish up with doing homework and getting ready for tomorrow meal prep so this is gonna conclude this video thank you guys for watching this is episode 4 and I'll see you guys on the next one